flower a fascinating organ of angiosperms flowers have served as an excellent offering to god an invaluable aid for personal makeup and a source of inspiration to poets since the beginning of civilization man has been accustomed to use flowers to make festivals more festive in sanskrit literatures of the ancient past flower epigrams have been used copiously to interpret romantic situation being so much involved with man's daily life flowers have developed a language of their own and can speak volumes of human sentiments flowers are objects of aesthetic ornamental social religious and cultural value they have always been used as symbols for conveying important human feelings such as love affection happiness grief mourning etc from a biologist point of view all flowering plants show sexual reproduction a look at the diversity of structures of the inflorescences flowers and floral parts shows an amazing range of adaptations to ensure formation of the end products of sexual reproduction the fruits and seeds sometimes after seed germination plant continues to grow vigorously and bears only foliar leaves this is the vegetative phase at certain point in the life cycle the plant switches over to the reproductive phase and starts bearing flowers the vegetative phase may last only a few weeks as in chickweed or more than a year as in many perennial trees a gavi is described as moruka because it flowers only once in its lifetime the switch over from the vegetative phase to the reproductive phase is influenced by a variety of internal and external factors and it is now possible to shorten or prolong the vegetative phase by altering the light conditions and temperature and by the application of certain chemical substances the duckweed wolfia microscopia has flowers about 0.1 mm across and are the smallest among the angiosperms the largest flower known up to a meter in a diameter occurs in certain species of rafflesia a root parasite found in the forest of malaysia a flower is regarded as complete if it has all four floral worlds that is calyx corolla andrisium and gynesium if any one of these parts is missing the flower is described as incomplete an incomplete flower can either be perfect having male as well as female sex organs or imperfect with either of the two sexes missing flowers with only male sex organs are described as staminate and those with only female sex organs are called pistillate some flowers of ornamental value jasmine lily chrysanthemum and rose 